that, what does it mean for your industry? We keep hearing that jobs will be lost. What sort of cut-off times are we looking at? Is it at the end of this month when we see the present furlough scheme not working anymore? Is it if we don't see the industry back up and running again um, to all intents and purposes by Christmas? Yeah, I'm sorry, Kay, we, we are going to see undoubtedly mass closures and, and mass redundancies. And only this morning you called the minister out quite correctly. Um, and, and he was talking about job retention scheme, the same as other countries. Well, it, it's not actually. You know, if people are working part time, they are asking the operator to contribute towards that two thirds. Other countries aren't doing that. So we need to be questioning these headlines that they keep coming up with. You know, we need to be drilling down to what they actually mean. But but yeah, I can't sugarcoat this, and I'm a positive person, but many, many operators are on their knees. And I'd go further, Kate, to say last when, when the news broke last Wednesday, when they gave it to the newspapers, bearing in mind they hadn't spoken to our northern leaders till Friday, and I noticed you had Andy Burnham on a few minutes ago. Operators were coming to me and saying, Do you know what? This has been a roller coaster for us since March. Our mental health is absolutely shot. We are on our knees. And that's not just operators, that's the employees as well. So whatever financial package is coming down the line, they're just going to hand the keys back because they cannot cope anymore. They are, they're broken, they are shattered. Just a final thought before we let you.